Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. And we're here at Donington Park, and I had a request uh, for a setup here for the Audi R8 Evo. So I decided to pick this one, which is uh, so difficult to Santa Lock Racing. Um, again, it, I think it's unique, it looks really awesome, so I decided to go with this livery, uh, since Audi has so many nice liveries. And um, so it'd be, have to be a little bit different this time because I had some PC issues. So um, again, this is a recorded the hot stint. Luckily, I saved it, but I can't you know show it live like as far as uh, the tire wear, the wear and all that on the setup. So we'll just you know we'll go over the setup, but I'll just have to tell you what it was. Um, also, before we get uh, too into it. Um, Work has got me working double time this week, so I'm pretty much ha have hardly any free time at all. So I'm doing some of these uh, setups just to have some try, try to have some enjoyment. But I, unfortunately, there won't be any CP racing uh, for this week because I'm just too busy working. So um, basically, hopefully, with this next week, I'll get back on my normal normal schedule and get a few a few uh, CP races in, I hope. I really miss doing that, so hopefully I can do it again start next week. Um, so, and again, you've probably seen this video over the weekend sometime. But anyway, by the end of the end of the, this upcoming week, hopefully I'll be back on my schedule. But anyway, uh, so anyway, with the aggressive, I tried the aggressive setup, and I did it for about, I probably ran about 24 to 28 laps, with and got the tires you know, where they need to be, and the best I could do was a lower 29, like a 29.3 uh, or something like 2 or 3, and that's even putting the fast sectors together. Um, th that's the best I could do. I really tried to get the best time I could get out of it, and that's with 80 liters, just like this, and the number one brake pads. So, I mean, I really tried to, you know, get them as equal uh, as far as all the common denominator type things. So, um, but this one, I think... This setup really, really is a big improvement, and it is a better driving, better times, better everything. So it's just, I'm really, really happy with it. So let's do a couple laps, and of course, then we'll go over um, the uh, setup and all that. Of course, I can't show the timetables because, but we'll talk about that because um, I don't, it doesn't show it here on the replay. So let's go over this. We'll jump in the car. It was a 128. That wasn't that great of a lap, but my best right now is a 128.35. So right there is a second faster than what I did with the aggressive. It's very racy as far as just you put the car wherever you want it. And I was really, really uh, enjoying driving it around here in Donington Park. I mean, um, you know, again, I mean, I, I like the track, but I probably don't practice here enough. So I got a lot of laps in this time, that's for sure. I mean, I drove a lot of laps. That was a 128.24, so that's my new best. I love that shot right there. Oh, it's blowing by there. That's awesome.
Sounds so good. I know you guys always hear me say that. First, congratulations to Audi for winning the uh, championship, the Panatech championship. So I know they run the, uh, I think they won the sprint and the endurance. So that's really awesome for Audi. And of course, that was a 128.08. So again, that was the fast lap that I had for the 30 minutes. And it will go over the last lap. I'll just let you look at the last little bit here just so you can see what the time is so I can't show the the others the 128 6 one was a lot before that so I can't, can't show the timetables oh, let me do it and let's see that last lap was a 128 was it Seven four, so not even you know. It's basically three quarters of a second um, from your my fast to my slowest. I had a couple laps that were actually about the same times that I actually went. You know, they were like minor out of bounds, but you know that was it. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, it does. Okay, good. I didn't think it did, but there's there's the timetables. So there's all the timetables. They're all twenty eight. Uh, I had a couple out of bounds here. These. The high one here but i mean basically all these are lower 28s most of them mid 28s i did have a a couple of these i could have had 27s i ran 27s in practice uh 27 8 so i mean it, it's got i guarantee you I, I swear it's got 27s for sure um like i said i should have had it a couple of these but i messed up one sector and it ended up where I lost it to 28, but I mean, it, it definitely ran 27, sevens and eights in practice. So it's, it's there. This car is really good, really solid, big improvement over, uh, what I could do with the aggressive, at least what I could do with it. Um, so now let's go ahead and go over the setup. So let's go over the setup. So again, you know, I just went right to the setup because obviously, like I said, my computer had problems so I just loaded it in so let's go over it I got 25 8 left front 26 left rear 26 8 right front and 26 6 right rear the toes negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.2 now you can go negative 3.4 I didn't see any problems with that they're about the same I just like the feel of this better so I stuck with that uh, the caster is 12.4 uh, the toe is negative 0.05 and the camber is negative 2.8 on the rear. And, of course, you can see I kind of got the same alignment as I did on the Huracan. And it seemed to work really well. So, you know, I'm just going to try it in certain places, certain things, and see what I can do. Because it really makes the back end a little bit more stable and a little bit less slidey. And um, so, uh, like I said, I went ahead and, and tried it with the Audi. And that seemed to, it seemed to work pretty good. Electronics are low for me, 2 and 3. And actually, I only yet kept it at two for a couple laps, and then I would actually turn TC down to one. That's how hooked up this thing is. It really is solid and hooked up. And with the TC at one, you can you know slide it a little bit and rotate it with the throttle and things like that, and be a little more aggressive. And uh, it's fine. So I actually turned it down after after a couple laps. You know, when the tires got up to temperature, uh, fuel got 80 liters. And of course, I can't show you the wear. Because it's, you know, again, with my PC, I had the PC issues. But um, basically, I had moderate graining on the front. Nothing was fine on the rear. And the wear was actually really good. The wear was um, a little, it was more wear on the rear, but nothing more uncommon with the Audi. And I think it was, real, you know, wearing very well for how hard I was pushing it. And it was just the graining. No, there was nothing else. So that, I was happy with that. Uh, mechanical got three on the anti roll bar, 60 on the brake bias, 15 on the steer ratio. Springs are 185,000 on the front with a un 
800 bump stop rate and a 5 bump stop range. And on the rear, the springs are 163,000 with a bump stop rate of 500 and a bump stop range of 30. The anti roll bar is 2 and the preload is 60 on the diff. And again, all these are much different than what it is on the aggressive, um, but it works really well. Shocks are 15, 13, 25, and 24 on the front, and 16, 14, 21, and 23 on the rear. Arrow is 56 on the front, 61 in the rear, with a 5 rear wing and a 3 and a 3 in the brake ducts, and the front arrow variation is a negative 0.4. And uh, the aggressive, it was a negative 2.4. So, um, obviously, this I've taken even more out, and you know, it's but it makes it really solid and stable and racy. And, um, of course, I the, it did have a four rear wing on the aggressive, and I really tried to make that work, but it just you know, it, it wasn't bad, it wasn't awful, but it just when I when I went to the to five, I could get more aggressive and drive it more aggressive. And I mean, I picked up like a half a second. So it's worth, you know, I, I just, I do what the car tell, is telling me it likes, and that's, so that's the way I went. Um, again, you know, it's a solid, solid setup and, um, you know, race setup, but it's, I think you, you'll be happy with it. And I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, I really would appreciate the support and, and really helps the channel and with all the YouTube stuff. And feedback and comments are always welcome. I always enjoy talking to everybody. Sometimes I can't get back with you right away because I'm really busy. But I always try to get back, you know, when I can. And um, But I do enjoy it. I really do. And, uh, again, there will be a link to this setup in the description along with I have a PayPal account a link down there also if you want to help support the channel that way. And I want to thank everybody that has. Um, it means a lot, and I really appreciate all the support. And also my email is also always in the description also. So I thank you, and I sure hope uh, you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.